Good evening, Mr. Kaddani. Thank evening. you for accepting our invitation to do this interview. Thank you very much, Mohamed. So you are the managing director enterprise for of Microsoft for Middle East in Africa. Yes. And uh, get the guest of APD Maroc for the conference Digital or Die. Yep. So the digital is changing many aspects of our economies, if not most of them. And uh, so companies, especially SMEs, need to transform and reinvent their strategies in order to stay competitive and survive. Yeah. So how do you assess the digitalization of SMEs in the region, especially here in Morocco? All right. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, before answering your question, uh, let me just thank uh, APD Morocco uh, for the invite and for this uh, uh, opportunity to talk about this very critical topic at this point in time. Um, let me put it like this. I mean, the, the, uh, when you speak about in the region, we, we, we look at North Africa and also the, the Middle East a little bit in, the, in that definition of the region that you just mentioned. Uh, we definitely see uh, a big transformation cases happening in the SME space uh, with digital, uh, digital transformation uh, being the dr main driver of which. Um, I will, uh, speaking from Morocco or being in Morocco, I can definitely tell you that Morocco is definitely also uh, on the forefront of this, plus Egypt, Jordan, and a few other companies to follow from that, uh, from that regard. But definitely Egypt, Morocco, and Jordan, I always say that the SME uh, movement or uh, uh, development transformation is happening at a, at a nice pace that we, we see. We have very good cases uh, that started from, uh, from, the, uh, from these few countries, uh, namely that actually evolved and uh, moved from not only serving their markets and evolving in their, uh, their own markets, but also within even calling them SMEs, they started even evolving and going out on a on regional scale. So, I mean, very good, very good development, and uh, we have uh, excellent cases, as I said, in Morocco itself. So, according to you, what steps should be taken to ensure the success of this process of digitalization? G governments have definitely a big role to play into this, um, uh, in terms of regulatory framework, because uh, adoption of digital services uh, sometimes uh, is, uh, is going against some of the legacy rules and regulations regarding uh, uh, data and cloud adoption. Uh, one of the biggest drivers for digital uh, digitization or digital transformation in, uh, in, uh, in SMEs enabling them to, to do the transformation is the cloud adoption and cloud framework. So governments definitely, will, uh, is definitely should be playing a, a very good role into this. That's the fir first and foremost. The second piece uh, immediately is the, um, uh, the support of the ecosystem at large. Uh, in terms of the enterprise space and the government, uh, in terms of um, enabling the SMEs to be playing a more active role into the into the 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 procurement cycle of the bigger bigger uh, bigger uh, transformation and programs and projects, I have seen again some major institutes as well as governments in the region who uh, start to put some of the legislation, which what I call positive discrimination towards SMEs, uh, to allow them to be part of the enablement cycle of, of the large uh, government and, and, and large private sector uh, tenders. Those, I think, two steps would definitely help, uh, help with, uh, with that. The third, and I think this is uh, a load on, on the uh, companies of, uh, like Microsoft and others, in terms of enablement of tools and technologies in this, in this part of the world to enable that digital transformation to happen on equal footing to the SMEs as we are availing it for the large enterprises as well. So definitely, um, if, uh, if those three steps adequately uh, progress, I think we will see even much more further progress in the MS SME space across the, across the region. Well, third question is about the costs of such transformation for companies. Uh, wh what do you think about that? Is it uh, affordable for SMEs to go digital? You know, I mean, interestingly about this question, actually, this is the, the worry the big enterprises has have today. The big enterprises, the biggest worry that they have is that now SMEs do not have a big barrier to entry to go into a cloud uh, uh, digital transformation or digital transformation journey or, or offering of services. They now, uh, uh, two uh, graduates from college or even undergraduates in college sometimes are, are coming up with uh, innovations and, and projects and programs that are 
as more innovative even than some of the large enterprises and academia are actually produ producing in the market. So I mean, the barrier to entry, there is no excuse today to say that there is a barrier to entry for the SMEs to really evolve and, and come up with innovative, uh, sustainable solutions for, uh, for the economies that they are serving. There is no better time now today for the SMEs using the technologies available at their, at their hand. What does Microsoft offer in order to help companies go digital? Well, listen, I mean, t today uh, Microsoft is in the forefront of the uh, digital transformation initiatives worldwide. Uh, we, we today uh, own and operate large um, platform services to enable n uh, not only SMEs, but also sort of like large enterprise and governments evolve and do digital transformation. The assets that the company operates around the world, the, the, the tools, the innov innovative tools that we're bringing in a modular way to allow all the way from the uh, SME to a large enterprise to adopt and in, in, uh, embrace digital transformation is like never before. We, uh, we have never been in such a, a powerful position when it comes to availability of tools and availability of initiatives and massive and also, by the way, in, in incentives and, and investments to enable digital transformation for both SMEs as well as, uh, as I said, governments and, and large institutions. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you.